Hey there scholars and welcome back or welcome to my channel ESP Daniela, your ultimate destination for education, scholarships, and professional development slash growth. I'm Daniela and today we will be discussing finding scholarships for international students. Now this video has been highly, highly requested and I finally got the chance to do it. And also fun fact, the very first student I ever helped win a scholarship all the way back in 2017 was in fact an international student from the DR Congo who got a full ride scholarship to study in Ghana and then years later yet again a fully funded scholarship this time to study in the uk the united kingdom and also literally just earlier today as i am recording this video i had yet another international student this time studying in the u.s where i am also based and she won nine thousand dollars in scholarships as a current college student which is a lot harder to do by the way she aspires to be a travel nurse and additionally she credits winning those scholarships thanks to my scholarship strategy book for one and two editing her essay i have a service specific specifically for that. So if you're interested in any of the things that I just mentioned, feel free to check them out in my description box down below. But moving forward here, let's talk about navigating scholarship search engines. So when it comes to finding scholarships, you want to harness the power of specialized scholarship search engines, especially specific to international students, such as scholarshipportal.com, internationalscholarships.com, and so many other comprehensive databases that are out there. Now, it's also important to keep in mind that as an international student, typically scholarships are going to be a lot more competitive and a lot harder for you guys to get because you're competing with people not only from your country but other countries as well so if you're looking at the eligibility criteria for a scholarship if it limits who can apply based on certain countries or certain regions then you would be more likely to win that scholarship as opposed to one that is open to any international student throughout the globe also did you know that various governments offer scholarships so guys i want for you all to take the time to explore various websites that are represented by these specific countries and see if they have programs that you can apply to. Some programs to consider include the Fulbright program, the Shevening Scholarship, and various others. And these are all specialized for students who want to pursue their education abroad. But also please do not limit yourself to only those scholarships mentioned earlier because they are some of the most highly competitive ones. They're some of the most well-known as well. So if you want to drastically increase your chances of winning scholarships, like so many of the students I have mentored over the years, then highly, highly consider checking out my book or my program titled the scholarship algorithm which details my step-by-step -step strategies to winning 30 scholarships between undergrad and graduate school as well as how i have been able to help so many students from various study concentrations across the globe win as well now moving forward here another unique experience to consider are cultural exchange scholarships these programs foster cross-cultural understanding and offer opportunities for international students to study teach and conduct research abroad so feel free to visit organizations and websites like afs.org and so forth. Now this next resource is where I highly consider you mainly focus your scholarship applications with and that is professional organizations so those relating to your study concentration. See these organizations often provide financial aid to international students pursuing careers in specific industries thus lessening the competitive pool since you won't be competing with other study concentrations. And to find many of these international associations based on specific industries simply go to to this wikipedia page then from there use Control f or command f on your keyboard to automatically navigate keywords relating to organizations to your study concentration slash career field then from there go to their websites each individually to see if they have scholarships which oftentimes they do and if not that they might have internships fellowships or some other opportunity that you might be able to benefit from now next up we have scholarships that are offered by various universities that are also specific to international students so when you're on a school's website take the time to visit the international student services or financial aid portal of their website to explore these opportunities and also look up online which institutions offer more generous financial aid for international students in comparison to other schools and as a bonus tip when you are doing this make sure to not only look at the average scholarship amount but also in relation to that school's overall cost of attendance for a specific year because like let's say a school is offering a fifty thousand dollar per year scholarship scholarship for students but per year overall to attend that school the cost of attendance is like eighty thousand dollars so you'll still have to figure out how you're going to be paying thirty thousand dollars per school year so make sure to also keep that in mind additionally when it comes to scholarships really try to focus on those that are for international students with a very unique background so as an example let's say you are a refugee from a certain country i actually had a student who was in the same exact situation he was from south sudan and he ended up being the first 
first black refugee to win a full scholarship to study at the American University in Cairo, Egypt. So if you have any sort of unique circumstance, there might just be a scholarship specific to you. Also, if you are wanting to study within the United States, I highly recommend looking into scholarships that are offered on bold.org. So the student I mentioned earlier on in this video who won $9,000 in scholarships after studying my book and after editing her essay, two of the scholarships that she won came from bold.org. So definitely consider them. Now, one thing about bold.org is that when you initially sign up for it, it'll ask for your prior high school and it only has like a very limited registry of high schools that they have listed. So if yours doesn't pop up, you'll probably have to contact their email so you can still make an account despite that. And finally, I want to encourage you guys to negotiate financial aid, whether that's negotiating the financial aid package that's offered by a specific school you're wanting to go to or negotiating to be eligible for certain scholarships that you're almost completely eligible for. So as an example of this, I won several scholarships that I was only 80 to 90% eligible for, but because I was so close, I took the time to email those over the scholarship and ask, hey, can I still apply? And they responded with either yes or no. And if they responded with yes, I ended up actually winning those awards. So if you find yourself in a situation of where you meet the GPA, you meet all the other criteria, but then it says you have to be like a US citizen or whatever else, well, email them and ask, hey, even though I'm not a citizen, I do happen to be studying within the country. Can I still apply for this scholarship? And they may say yes, they may say no, but it does not hurt to ask. Now, in terms of negotiating your overall financial aid package, you really want to advocate for yourself and make a case for yourself. So if you don't know how to properly go about this, I actually have a free template linked down below within my financial aid toolkit, as well as so many other resources, even those specific to international students. Anywho, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Follow my socials if you haven't already on Instagram and TikTok and give this a thumbs up and share it with somebody you know. That's it. Bye.